I'm Simon Harvey, I'm from Fraserburgh in the northeast of Scotland, and I'm a fisherman working from Fraserburgh. My name is Michael Forbes, I'm 24 years old. I'm from uh, Kinloch Barvey, a small fishing village in the northwest corner of Scotland, and we're here for an exchange project to see how the fisheries on the BC coast works. We've met a few different people since we've been here. First person was Wes, and uh, he's a, a really nice guy. He's uh, helped us a lot. He's kind of he's been our chaperone basically, and he's uh, taken us all over and shown us different things, organised different things for us. What size boats are you guys on? Are you on over there? Uh, yeah. Same but different. Yeah. Same design, same kind of ideas. What I work on, so it's quite interesting to see other people's ideas, how they work it. We arrived in Vancouver and we uh, stayed with Brian Moss for two days. He's the owner of the fishing vessel Frosty. So for the science we have to use the tip on 107s, we can't use flying doors. Yeah, he was a pretty cool guy to hang around with. Uh, he took us to one of the, the meetings with the, between the fishermen and the scientists just to show us how the, the Canadian fishermen work with the science trying to make a better fishery over here, so it was really good to see. And then we spent a week on the EJ Safric and uh, met the, a really nice skipper, Reg Richards. It was good to sail with him because he's, uh, he was really keen on the programme that they've introduced, the monitoring programme, and uh, we had a good observer away that week as well and he was interesting to speak to. The crew was really nice and we had a good laugh that week. We just mucked in, same as you would at home, and you were just part of the crew helping them Clear the fish and pack the fish, mend the nets at the end of the week. Yeah, it was really good. It's uh, quite different actually. The fishing over here, it's all towing just one net. We're back at home, we tow two twin rig trolling. All their fish is put into tanks, then pumped to shore, where we uh, have to box everything, then land to a market. Over here, it's all uh, straight to the, the fish buyer, the fish plant. It's the same gripes and same laughs that you have with the crew that we've been with and the same attitude toward fishing and the weather and yeah, just people have the same same attitudes no matter where you go. <laughs> no, we just fitted in, it's just like you'd be at home, you know, you jump aboard the boat, you're part of the team. Everybody had the same same kind of laughs and uh, yeah, once you uh, once you got into the swing of it, it was just like being at home. The weather was flat calm, got some beautiful pictures up off the west coast of the Queen Charlotte Islands, which is a place that whenever you say to somebody I've been, they're like, wow, you know, it's, uh, most Canadians haven't been there, so to see it, it was really good. Yeah, I definitely uh, think it's a great thing to start doing. Uh, it's a great experience, and uh, if you've got the other chance, we'd definitely come back. Hi. <laughs> Uh, the weather over here has been amazing for the three weeks that we've been here. It's been uh, flat calm and beautiful sunshine, 25 to 30 degrees. Beautiful. It's been amazing to sail on the, when it's like that. I went round the island in the quad bike, seen most of the island. Went over to the other side, came back through a trail, X forest uh, roads. Came back at night and everybody had uh, supper at Wes's mum's cabin, which was really nice. It's been actually a great three weeks. Everything we've done has been really good. The people, everyone we've met has been really friendly and welcoming. It's just been a great uh, experience. When we went fishing yesterday, we caught uh, a ling cod just off the beach. Uh, we went out in a small speedboat. The tide was a uh, crazy amount of tide, so we couldn't fish for very long. 10 minutes from the house in the little speedboat in the middle of the narrows and uh, dropped the line and it got a big link cod. That's a What's that there? Yeah. Can I pull it? What do you call it? It's a link cod. It's a link cod. It just shows the abundance of fish in some of these places and it's good eating as well. We had that for our dinner last night. But it's amazing, you know, the abundance of fish in some of these uh, inshore waters. You know, I did my mate's ticket at the start of this year and hopefully in a five to ten years I'll maybe skip her a boat or my own boat or something. That would be my, my goal really, is to have my own boat probably. 
it's quite a difficult thing to do nowadays. Hopefully, hard work will get you there, maybe. Yeah, I see myself being a fisherman for uh, most of my life. I find it uh, a great job to be in. Sometimes it can be hard, but most of the time it's, uh, it's a good job.